Hello and welcome. In this brief video, I'm going to give you an introduction to Network Attached Storage, NAS. So you can, you can jump to your favorite search engine and we'll do a quick search for NAS storage. And the very first link in Wikipedia, we'll just have a quick look. And in the first paragraph, it neatly describes what Network Attached Storage is. It is a file level computer data storage server connected to a computer network providing data access to a heterogeneous group of clients. Okay, that's a mouthful. In simple English, network attached storage is simply a piece of software, in fact, a mini operating system that you will install on a computer device or indeed a dedicated device with storage units attached such that you can connect this PC or device up to your network and allow any type of client to access it. And by any type of client, I mean a Windows PC, a Windows device, a Mac OS X, Apple device, or indeed a Unix device. We are going to look at, in particular, FreeNAS. And FreeNAS is an open source and free network attached storage software. So let's have a look and see exactly what it is. So I just clicked on the home page. You can see it up here. Scroll down a little bit and it tells us briefly here what is FreeNAS. It is a mini operating system that can be installed on virtually any hardware platform to share data over a network. FreeNAS is the simplest way to create a centralized and easily accessible place for your data. And FreeNAS uses the ZFS file system to protect and store backup for all your data. And it can be used anywhere. Lastly, it is, as I said earlier, it is free and open source, which is fantastic. Anyone can download it and use it. Briefly, what is ZFS? ZFS, in simple English, is a rock-solid, reliable, highly available, and scalable open source file system. It allows you to use RAID controllers, uh, and supports a volume manager, it allows you to create a highly complex or indeed simple storage solution, depending on your needs. So what are the advantages or benefits of using FreeNAS? Well, the first most obvious benefit is that it comes with a beautiful web interface that you can access using any type of browser that allows you to perform 99% of the administrative tasks that you would need to do. The other 1% you might have to do using a command line terminal interface. And in fact, the browser web interface allows you to open and run a command line terminal interface from within the browser, which is really, really nice. Second advantage is that it permits file sharing, and file sharing across every type of file system, including most common Windows file systems, indeed Apple file systems, and indeed Unix file systems. Using both file-based protocols and indeed block-based protocols, which is very, very nice. We can also take snapshots of our entire file system. They can be taken at any time, and they can be saved offline by using replications if we wish to do that. So we can effectively employ the replication feature to send snapshots over the network to another system for true off-site disaster recovery. So it's a very nice feature. That's all I wish to say about FreeNAS. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to download the FreeNAS software. Thank you.